The mendacity knows no bounds. But I mean, Charlie, beyond the sort of elegant theory that could be useful for Democrats, there's also the reality that these 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 lies hang on Republican elected officials. If you follow them upstream, you get to sitting senators. You know, you wrote a piece in The Atlantic today talking about the way in which the fake electors plot in Wisconsin leads us to sitting senator from Wisconsin, Ron Johnson. And that is not good for him. Can you talk a little bit more about how you see those dominoes falling? Well, I, I, th I think the, the story you just told, uh, people need to understand what an integral role all of those outlets played in changing the changing the political landscape, in convincing uh, the vast majority of Republicans the election has been uh, so, uh, was stolen, um, spreading the COVID conspiracy theories. That's important because many of the Republican politicians have followed where the base went. They they have been influenced by the D'Souza's and the Epic Times's. And by the way, the one thing we left out is that Steve Bannon's also going to jail. So I mean, there's a there's a great moment here, I think, of 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 feeling that that there is karma catching up with uh, the schlocky mendacity that you've been been documenting. But to your point, this is so deeply ingrained now in the Republican Party and a Republican Party headed by Donald Trump. I mean, I would love to spike the football and say um, that, you know, we're, we're, we're now seeing reality make a comeback. But um, the, the big asterisk there is, can reality make a comeback in American politics as long as Donald Trump mm. Um, is possibly going to be elected the next president of the United States? Because um, as, as, as Mark mentioned, these things are not they're not simply discreet. Donald Trump has worked very closely with each of these outlets. They are crucial cogs in in the in the disinformation web out there. And as long as Donald Trump is there, and as long as you have elected officials like Ron Johnson who are willing to carry water for the big lie in these conspiracy theories, they can still do a lot of damage, and they will and will do a lot of damage. Yeah, I mean, I, look, I. I...